So I've shown you how to easily put GIFs in your messages on your iPhone, and one of my favorite keyboards for Android even has a snazzy feature to insert GIFs as well. But what if you wanna know how to make a GIF in the first place? I mean, why be limited to the ones that are in these apps and the ones that are already permeated across the World Wide Web? GIFs, if you aren't familiar, are a file format type on the web that allows you to have a series of images automatically loop over and over. In other words, GIFs are what those animated images of cats high-fiving their owners are actually called. And while you can find plenty of them on sites like Jiffy.com, it might be fun for you to try your hand at making your own. Googling for how to make GIFs will give you a plethora of sites that can help make this process super easy. But I find a lot of them either add watermarks to your GIFs or they cost money. So the one I recommend and I'm going to use in this video is make a GIF or GIF, however you want to call it, .com. You can follow the steps below for most of the options out there though. So if you don't want to use makeagif.com, feel free to use any of the others you find and still be able to probably follow most of these steps. First, head to makeagif.com and sign up for a free account. Once you confirm your email, you can then log in. Next, click create a GIF at the top right. You can then choose what method you'd like to use to create your GIF. The available options are upload photos, use a YouTube video, upload a video from your computer, or use your webcam. Okay, so first up, you can upload photos to the site and it'll stitch them all together, crop them, and animate them all magically for you. To do this, click pictures to GIF at the top of the site. Drag and drop the photos you want to use to the uploader. And it works best, by the way, if you choose photos that are all similarly positioned, uh, similar, and the movements between each is slight. Think of it like a flipbook animation. When you're ready, you can then click continue. On the next page, you can choose things like the animation speed, how you'd like the images cropped. And keep in mind, they all have to be the same size to make the GIF work properly, obviously. So this is just the method that you want the site to use to accomplish that. Then, some options for putting the GIF on their site. I just choose private and put in the least amount of info since I don't really want to share my GIF with the world or I want to do it on my own time. Either way. After you've chosen what you want, click create a GIF and it'll create the GIF and you can see it in action. If it's what you want, click download and make sure it's set to GIF and you're all set. Okay, well using photos works. It's really not the best way uh, and it requires some serious planning on your part if you really want to make the GIF look great and like a proper animation. The better way to do this usually is to use a video. The site has two options for this and they work similarly. The only difference being that one, you can paste a YouTube link to a video and the other you can upload your own from your computer. If you wanna use an existing YouTube video, simply click YouTube to GIF, then head to YouTube and pick whatever video you want. Copy the URL to that video from YouTube and paste it into the Make a GIF site. Then click continue. For uploading your own video, just click Video to GIF at the top of the site and then click Upload and choose the video file from your computer. Once the YouTube video or uploaded video are ready, simply scroll to the part of the video that you want to turn into a GIF, choose how much of the clip you want the GIF to be, for example, two seconds, three seconds, etc. And you can even preview it at the top right and it'll keep looping so you know what the GIF is gonna look like. Next, give it a name and click Create GIF. You can then see it in action and download it for your sharing pleasure. Finally, you can also use the webcam on your computer if you have one by clicking webcam to GIF. Then allow access to the webcam if needed and click record video to start recording. Click stop recording to stop, obviously, and click continue if you're happy with the GIF preview at the top right. After that, you can adjust the settings for it just like we did with the photos to GIF option and click create a GIF. After a bit, you'll see your GIF and can click download to save it for yourself. And there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, and for more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching.